What's up, y'all? It's JPTV3000. I'm here with Ed. Ed. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for your time, man. And, uh, Ed, where you from, man? What brought you to North Dakota? I'm, uh, I'm from Missouri originally. Yeah. But I came from, uh, Oregon to North Dakota. Yeah. Is where I came from. So at least you kind of, it's cold up there. It's cold over here. Climate kind of the same in a way. Uh, no, it's very cold here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey man, this is mild though. This, this, well, 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 you know, you know. No, but, this is a this is a different cold than than what uh, I'm from. You know, I mean, yeah. yes, it does get cold in Missouri, and yeah. it does get cold, but the wind up here is is probably the yeah the hard point of it. You know. Yeah, because when the wind's not blowing, like I can I can come outside in some shorts. And you know, you know something like that. But as soon as that wind picks up, I'm like, oh, I made a mistake. Yeah, it's it's the wind up here that that, that gets you. That, you that know. gets you. I mean, it picks up, you know, 20, 30 mile an hour. I mean, it it's cold. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But Ed, I was gonna ask you, what's what's some of the things you've seen up here, and what's some experiences that that what are some of the experiences that you've had since you've been up here? Well, you know, I, I came up here in 2010. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's kind of was the start of the of the boom. Yeah. If you want to call it that, you know. And uh, I ex I experienced that at that point that you could you could do there there was an opportunity to do whatever you wanted to do. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm I'm been working in construction all my life. Uh, I pulled in up here with a with a utility trailer full of tools and, and you were ready I, to go. I, I was ready to go. I yeah. thought I was going to go to building homes. Uh -huh. But, uh, and, and I did build one home here in Williston. And then I, I looked around and I thought, you know, there, there's there's a better opportunity for yeah. me than, than than just building a house. Yeah, so and, let me go try something else. And I, I've operated equipment before in my life off and on, raised on a big farm, you yeah. know. And, and so I, I started operating a uh, heavy equipment operator up here. Yeah. So, uh, and I and I made good money. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the boom did benefit me. You know, I I, I got totally out of debt on that. But uh, you know, it was a, uh, it was rough. It wasn't it wasn't nothing easy. Yeah. You know, I mean, I I lived in an RV for three years. Yeah. During during that period of time, you know, and uh, it it was a rough go. But uh, you know, the 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 work it, you. you you worked all the time, yeah. So you didn't have time to think. Really. Exactly, exactly. You didn't have time to think about, you know, because, I mean, I I tried to work, you know, I'd, I'd work sixty to ninety days straight sometimes. Yeah. And then I would take off a week, two weeks, three weeks. The thing about that, you 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 actually need that. You need to take that time off where you can give your body a rest, give your mind a rest, and just kind of release all of the all of the days of working out of out of your system yes you got you got to get rid of the stress because yeah. your stress builds up so hard and and most of the people you work for that they want you to take time off yeah and, and a lot of them would pay you to take time off yeah you know because because of the stress that, that you did have yeah you know so but you know now that the boom's gone down you know and, and uh, uh it's it's not that way you know, I mean, you, you can still work a lot of hours here. Yeah. You know, uh, but it's uh, the the work is is slowed down. I mean, tremendously. Yeah, and I can say that just from somebody that came here in '14 all the way to now. Now, now it's it's like, hey, get somewhere, get the best deal that you can get, and ride it out for as long as you can ride it out. I mean, I've, I've seen Wilson, North Dakota. I mean. You know, when I, when I pulled in here, there was fields, wheat fields or whatever, yeah. and in a matter of months, there was houses up, you know. Um, but, and, and they, they, I mean, things went so fast here that that they, they overbuilt to me, yeah. you know. But now, every, everything's mellowed out. Yeah. Uh, and I, I've seen this little town here. I came here when it was a little town. Yeah, and you've seen it grow, and and, and that's something I can I can testify to 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 seeing that also. Because before, you know, I I never had a chance to see a town grow. I never had a chance to see 
when they were building all those apartments up by, by where the new high school Correct. was. When they, when they were building all of that, you know, I'm like, oh, when they were building uh, the um, industrial part, when they were still building that stuff up, you know, so it's, it, it's something to see that much being done on such a big scale. It, it, it was, you know, and, and I, I have worked in a, a, I thought were booms, yeah. you know, uh, Branson, Missouri was a boom at one time, yeah. you know, but I've, I've never seen anything like this in my yeah. life, and, and I don't think a lot of people have. Yeah, and, and not only that, this, this boom actually stuck. It lasted long enough for new people to come in, buy land and houses and move into the area and decide that, you know, they're going to stay here permanently. And I think that's one of the benefits and one of the things that has really allowed this town to grow as much as it has, is, is the permanent people that stay. Yes. Go, go ahead. Yes, you know, and, and the permanent people that stayed are, are the, to me, in my opinion, is are, are the, the, the people that had degrees in, because the oil field, you know, to, to do the maintenance on, on all these, these oil wells around here now, I mean that's where the work is carrying on now. Yeah. Is the maintenance in the in the in the oil field. Yeah. If you got a good de degree and you know, in in something you know, why th there's lots of work here yeah. right now for that. Yeah. You know, but for the average person to come up here, and think you're just gonna go to work and and boom boom boom. Yeah. That like, that you, part's yeah, gone. Yeah, you need to kind of slow down because I, I can't say that it's not going to happen, but you may have to put more effort into it. You may have to you may have to be be more patient, especially if you don't have experience or a CDL already. Correct, correct. You know, and and I I mean the, don't don't bring your family up here right away. Yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. Because you're right. Because I got a friend of mine. He's come up here and he, he can't. He, he he's up here by himself, and I'm like, you know. Because I, I was saying the same thing. Come up here, fill it out, see if this is something that you you know you, know, you want to bring your family into. Because we were just saying, you're going to spend money bringing your family up here. And if it doesn't work out or your family doesn't like it, you're going to spend money getting your family back home. And it's still very expensive up here, you know. The, the cost of living is, is, is very expensive here, you know. But, you know, I mean, it, it, like I say, if you got a good degree, like, you know, shoot, I... I I'd tell anybody to come up here, but if you're just an average Joe coming up here, I I wouldn't do it. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, but if, if if you got a family, you you you're raising kids, you know, yeah. uh, and and you know one of one of you's got a good degree in there, yeah. you know. But man, but personally, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to raise my kids in Williston, North Dakota. Yeah. But there is other little communities up here yeah. that are nice little communities yeah kind of like out, out away from town quiet you stuff know like that. stanley north dakota you know you get you get into these little farm communities up here and it, it, it's wonderful yeah but uh right here in wilson north dakota i wouldn't want to raise my kids here you know uh there there's a lot of crime here yeah you know and it's and and there's crime everywhere yeah. don't don't get me wrong there's yeah. crime everywhere but there, there's a lot of crime right here in Wollaston, and uh, as far as me raising some, some little kids in this town, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, I feel you, man, because I've, I've considered, you know, buying land here, staying here, but then I have to, I have to add it up. Is it, is it financially worth it? Is it going to add up? Because I'm from Mississippi, and what I can get land for in Mississippi, man, I, because a one acre up here, you're going to spend 30, 30, 40, maybe even 50,000. Uh, yeah. And if I'm going to spend that money, damn it, I want my money's worth out of it. And, and I'm trying to think, unless this is, this is like the perfect acre of my dreams or something, I don't see it happening. No. You know? No. It's, uh, you know, the as far as is, is buying real estate in, in this area, yeah. uh, you you better you better have your roots set and 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 have a, you know some money coming in and one of you better have a good degree in something. Yeah, you know, because that will definitely make the difference. And uh, Ed, man, I appreciate you for your time. Would you like to say hey to anybody at home? Hey, I'll, I'll say hey to the whole world out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, and, and hey, it's a pleasure meeting you. You, I mean, you too, man. You'll probably see me. Well, well, you. 
you will see me around because I'll probably be back up here tomorrow. I don't, I don't go back to work until uh, Saturday. So you'll you'll see this on my YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. My YouTube channel is JPTV3000. Okay. And uh, this will be up within the next seven days or so because okay. I got some other videos that I, that I have to finish up and put on there first. And um, man, thank you for your time, man. And hopefully, hopefully everything will work out. You know, just. Because I tell people all the time, as long as the person is willing to come to work, be on time, do their job, mind their business, and not harass their coworkers, they're, they're the greatest employee ever. That's correct. Time. That's they, correct. And up here, that's all they care about. They don't care what color you are. They don't care what your background is. That's can correct. You, can you do those five things? That, that's correct. Yeah. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Thank, thanks for the opportunity. You too, man. You, you too. bet. I appreciate that. Yep.